In the name of Jesus, as we come to you this morning, Lord God, search our hearts, search our motives, Lord Father, as we come to honor you in spirit and in truth. We invite the presence of the Holy Spirit into this house this morning. As we come to honor you, Father, we pray that you would dwell in the praises of your people. Hallelujah, Jesus. Be with those who might still be on their way. Grant them traveling mercies. But as we've gathered here this morning, we're asking, Lord Father, that you meet the need in the house. Meet the need of the hour. As we never fail to give you glory, honor, and praise that you alone deserve. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And all God's people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, we're going to start because it's 10 o'clock. Is that all right? <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to start with our first song. Why don't we do what we came to do? Eh? It doesn't matter who's here and who's not here. All I'm worried about is whether God is here. And if God is here, that's all that matters. So we've come to praise you, Lord, to give you glory and honor. Now, as you can see, we don't have many musicians in the house, so I need you to participate Hallelujah. along with us and clap your hands like this. Hallelujah. And we, why do we all sing? Every praise is to our God. Here we go. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our Hallelujah is to our God. Glory, hallelujah, is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Want to sing from the top? Every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship is one accord.
sing the chorus one more time. God, my Savior. God, my Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, we're going to sing one more and before we get into our worship. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's it. Santa Oma. Oh, my God. 
Let's sing it one more time. My name is written. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I never shall. No, no. Shall forget that day. For my name is written. We're going to sing it one more time. My name is Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus saved my soul from sin and shame. Oh, I never shall, shall forget that day. For my name is written. Oh, take to life. Oh, take to life. Masamali. Matawa to ilosu afa. Hello, <laughs> One more time. Oh, turn to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's our Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Why don't you clap your hands unto the Lord? Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Hallelujah. I want you to uh, take a moment to yourself and just talk to the Lord here this morning. Just to give him thanks, to give him glory. Father, we thank you. We love you. You are such an awesome God. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 As we prepare to worship you, Father, in spirit and in truth. Jesus. 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 Have your way in this place. forget that you are there, that your faithfulness is everlasting. Your goodness and your mercies endureth forever. Hallelujah. 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 You are Alpha and Omega. We worship.
sing it one more time. You are Alpha. Top, you are Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. We worship you, Lord. You are. Come on, and why don't we worship him just for a moment? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh Lord, we worship you. Oh Father, we bow before you. The lily of the valley and the bright and morning star, the first and the last, the Alpha, the Omega. You, O oh God, who are high and lifted up, your name reigns forever. You sit on your throne of righteousness with your scepter of righteousness and you reign forever, O oh God. For there is no God like you. There is no God like you. And you reign forevermore, Jesus, the great I am, the almighty. Worship, worthy are you, O oh Father. Hallelujah. 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 We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, why don't we worship the Lord for a moment? Come on, do what you came to do. Hallelujah. 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 Hush. Where are you, Father? Where are you, Father? 
Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. Praise your name, Jesus. Praise your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Let's see. 
Lord, you are God alone, and you are on your throne. 
even before time, you are God Almighty. We honor and we praise you. You are the God Almighty. You are our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you are our helper. Oh, we glorify you. People, talk to God. Give him a hand. Thanksgiving from the bottom of your heart. Talk what you need to do. Talk what you need to do. You know, my father is there. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Yes, Father, you are the man. Hallelujah. Ole mato nga nga fa afeta ya tu na ila wapio. Epe wene fa atonu ina mato. Ia fa atene atu ila wapio in the fa afeta. Mato te fa afeta ona oto e poto lo nu ili alofa mali alofa mali alofa mai la wapio. Fa afeta ila uta usina ila nu. Fa fetai yau fa mandianga itono lau ikalisia, fa fetai tamau aina 
where for in the Bible in my tomb, for a fetai ilau fa malo longa, your mato tangata tai to dasi, for a fetai or not lau tali fa aliali, a two sai or mato mana ona ilau fio, for a fetai tama, a wile aisa tala vale fa pole night mato, a na o de langa oli 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 male fia fia, a mato to fa pea twai. O mato wanga ngai ya e fa amandu watu ia yangu. O meo mafoi olo ito tonu ya mato ia fa amandu ilo suafa pa ia. Lo wanga ngai ia e fa amandu watu ia yoba. Awa foi ne ingalo se me tasi o au me alofa. O le fa amanga loina a mato wang sala. O le fa amalo lo ina o mato wanga, o le fa afo ina o mato tino mai tunga mau, o le fa pale ina mato ile alofa, male alofa muti muti vale, o le mali ayo mato manao imea uba, o le fa afo ina o mato taule imea, e fa pei o aeto, o le na le mato fa petai. Fa manu male fa ne ne ila wa fio tama ilo ia pale ia una ia ofu la wa fio male ta ele o mato loto fu o mato la muti mato te ta ta wa tuai lo mato la fio mato te te talo le tua ia e hanga le lei ma fa a fei lo ai mana onga lo nu u e pe o na na u na wa tuai ila wa fio. E tofu lava i mātou wa mana onga o e si la fia a ngana pa ia sue sue ma whātou i tōlu ma tai tai ina i mātou e tu saai ma lau whinangalo ina ia manu ia lau nuu ta mā iau whakmanu anga wa uwa na a tofa mo i mātou whakmanu ia tai tai peni amina ma si mutu Oh, yeah, it's a way to my mom for fwango lau O lau nga luenga i a yau fa manianga Yeah, it's a way to my mom Fa manuia le fa fianainga Timbo teo, my righteous Ah, oh, yeah, it's a way to my mom for fwango O lau fe au ma lau nga luenga E pein a to fa ina a it's a to Ta ma ia mua bua oi mui muli le aso ma tini O uban a to fa ina to e ta liu ma yai Ya yai la o fio leo leo ma pui pui lungo o ala Fata uina le ala fanga ma se mato e kalesia Ai fa fo i la o fio le di ina ma le fa tai Tu ina atu pea i la o fio ma na onga fai pea E nei ma lo o New Zealand Mato te talo inde i anga le lei Tai tai i ye o tai tai i le nei ma lo Ile mana lo wangana pa ia 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 i fili filinga Tonu fili filinga sao A wale ta ita inde o le ma lo Mo i ma tau la wa whanau Tu ina tu fo'o i isra elu le atua Fa manuia i lo nuu Ia u fiu fitia I la tau ile mana lo wangana pa ia le atua O a lava fi taam fai na ta le li yo ne la lo langi O lo o taam fai ia e fa a le anga i lo nuu Mato te te talo le atua E fa a tau nuu lava me a tonu uma E peyon e fe talai ya i molo nuu A e se pangra Ia e u umia i la to yo a awa lofa le atua Ina ia ma bao malam pua pua nga ya i la to le atua Ma ia la to tau la yatu i la wa fio O le atua o isara elu O le atua oe o sa paota O le atua oe O tangata o la uma, le atua mato tu inato le mato maaftanga Ina i anga le lei, fa atasi mai la wafio le amatanga O le pola fola ina o la upu, ia al watu mani mana le atua Feta lai la wafio ngai yoi le mana lilo lo wanganga pa ia Father we pray, let your spirit to tell the hearts of your people Holy Spirit, quicken your word in the hearts of of your people today, O oh Father God. We pray, be with us from the beginning till the end, and your glory and honor will return back unto you. 
Pata si maila wa fio ili amatranga o la upu se yo o ilo na pa iwina leo leo pui pui peta laila wa fio fa manuia mai ilo nu ilo swafa o yesu and everyone in agreement say amen thank you you may be seated I'd like to call upon all our children, please come forward. Alawatu le tato fa nau fa mulmole o mai ai o te valaulia fa pitoa le tina evangelia ya Marita Moses talo fa mia mota tato fa nau fa mulmole. Yesu. <laughs> O a mea uma peo na rato o baba a yatu i ate o e te maa i a pape nauna e fa manuia i ate i lato e i aini isi o i lato o la pape nauna fa manuia i na te tonu a awa oma mo lato luma na i te maa mato te lafo i atu i ate o e o i ai lato e peo na i ai i a a o a o fa i evangalia o apostolo O ume a uma peo na falau lau ina atu e lau au au na ia nai mato falau lato te le ma fai a se mea e mato te talo ia lato wawa ma mato tau ia te oe o na e fa manuia e le na ia mato falau fa manuia mai le nei tau ia po ia li inga ia te oe fa manuia na lo swa fa e fa va va o fa va o lava amen e ma amen. Myself, Pastor Vialia Tua. Thank you, team. <coughs> yeah, myself, Pastor Levo, and I'm Multato team, Lita Yao, and our worship leader. Let's give a clap offering for our worship team this morning, and to God be the glory. <coughs> Greeting in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and uh, to our church, our leaders, Fivefold Ministry our deacons, all the leaders of our church, but leaders, and especially the families of our church, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Isewa wa opito ititi ulitato e kalesia. Fata alofa atu ili swafa manu malo o Yesu. A special greeting to anyone that is here visiting us today. Pray that the Holy Spirit will minister to your heart his word and his blessing. See, the Holy Spirit also is a visitor here today and is visiting us and is in the midst of our people today. Um, pa felo ay at fo isay um fayo na siyel tato malul na itayao iya fa manuia le tua iya fa pinan nga yo iya tulma na lilo o le nga nga pa iya e fa felo ay so man onga il na itayao e fa felo fa felo ay at fo ilungo o penga sa fa ilangi na tulong fayo na may bo may fa lolo ng may fo Il tato sa mingal ne yaso, ia fa manuia le tua ilau fa afonga anga, ia fa penan fa afelua ia nganga pa ia so mana onga, e tu sai malana upu il ne taiao. A special greetings to those that on uh, social media, our our family on social medias, and our partners. We greet you in the name of Jesus, and we trust 
the Holy Spirit will unction his word into your spirit and meet your need. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to the word of God. My text is not very long. I'll just um, bring forth some few points, and then we can go home today and rest. Amen? Yeah, Lele. Uh, my text this morning will be found in John chapter 14, verse 26. Ola uma matua ole a mawole ale evangalia yoane lonta upues full fa alona fai upue luos full wono. Yoane lonamta upues full fa fai upue luos full wono. You have the translation on the board, the HCHB, but I will read to you in the King James Version. I'm a well out to spa yasa mota to fight out for a tassi, maleo tele, male mu, iai fa mulmole, ia a olef so soani, ole anganga pa ia lea, e a wina maia litsa ma ilo ingoa. O ia lava na te a o a o ia te o tou i mea o malava. E fa mana tu mai foi o ia ia te o tou i mea o ma o o fai a tuai ia te o tou. Okay, this translation says, can we all read it? But the counselor, the Holy Spirit, the Father will send him in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have told you. That's the Holy Spirit. Um, yeah, hold on to that, that, that word. Let me pray. The text says, A ole so soani, ole anganga pa ia lea, e awina mai, ele tama ilo ngoa, o ia lava na te a oa o ia te o tou, i mea o malava, e fa manatu mai foi, o ia ia te o tou, i mea uma wo o fai a tua ia te o tou. Now that translation says, but the counselor, but the King James translation say, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things, will remind you of everything I have said to you. Okay, my uh, topic this morning or my subject this morning is entitled Remember. Ola umatua le ola umta upul neta yao e fa leo ina fa pea manatua. Remember manatua. Okay? We all know, you and I know, we are, we, we are creation of God. We were created in the Im image of God. And when God created us, it's a special creation. He put everything in us that we are able to live and journey through life according to God's will. The, one of the things that he put in us, I would like to emphasize this morning, is a thing called memory. manatua. God had put in your mind memory. See, and the memory that God has put in you is limitless. You know, see, man always tried to, um, he always like, he always tried to imitate God's creation. Ah, see, 
throughout the, the years, man created computer, ah. Like Facebook, TikTok, so man created a uh, computer. But you know the bad thing about it, you know, is that it only has a limit memory. I think the most gigabytes that an, a computer memory can obtain would be 128 gigs. You know, could be more maybe production um, computer. But that's all the, me uh, the computer can uh, obtain. But you know, you and I, as young, as old, as mid eight you are, you have a memory that will, uh, it's limitless gigabytes, meaning that you can memorize or store as many facts, as many things you can in your memory. You know, I'm what, I'm 70 years of age, and all through my journey, God had imparted all these things in my memory. You know, can the computer do that? No, can't. But you, 12 year old, 12 years that you live, all that memory that you obtain from school, wherever, you know, as you grow, as you turn in life, it's all in your memory. And that's how great God is. That's how great God had created us to be to have that memory. And now my topic this morning is entitled, Remember. Ah, Manatua. Manamemu mule, em na oleanganga pa iye, e talanoil taerni. Manatua le upu aleatua. Remember the word of God. You see, every week we are preached to, taught to, counseled to the word of God. But you know, a lot of times, we don't remember that after the fact. Um, but I'm here to remind you, remember the word of God. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was God. Ile amatanga, saile amatanga le upu. Saile atua le upu. Ole atua foi ole upu. So who is the word? The word is Jesus. Ole upu o Yesu kerisolea. Na saula i ole upu feta lai le upu o a unei ole ala upu moni maleola. And then the word spoke to us. Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now God wants you to remember that word. Because as we journey through life, you and I know if Jesus is in us, like our text say, that if I am not to my foy o ia yate o to, I may uma o faya tuai yate o to. In us, the Holy Spirit is going to remind us what Jesus said in his word. I want you to understand that you are not walking alone. You are walking with Jesus. He is the way. Olo tato sava bali ma Yesu Kiriso. O io leala. Male upumoni. The truth. See, the Holy Spirit is always reminding us Jesus, the truth. I want you to, you know, um, to really know that you are special in God. Because he remembers. He wants you to remember the word. See, he's the truth that the Holy Spirit reminds us as and Jesus alone is your key to everlasting life. O Yesu, o le awala lea ile ola e faavavau. A e talia ina Yesu, o le mea alofa lea tua, o le upo lea tua, e saofa nga tato ile ola e faavavau. O le nala tato faamoe moe. That is our hope, is to 
go ever to go to everlasting life. And if you remember in your journey, Jesus, he will walk you right to heaven. He will journey with you to heaven. Secondly, remember pro the promises of God. Manatua ia folofolanga po promisi aleatua. You know, in the word of God, there is 8,800 plus promises in the word. Evaluafe valuselau plus ia folofolanga po promisi aleatua lo tonu la fiona pa ia aleatua. But I like to elaborate on one. It's in Deuteronomy verse 31. I mean, chapter 31, verse 8. And it goes like this. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy tos frutasil on fai upe valu o yova foi o ia na te savali i o luma lua te faatasi maia Na te le tu una oe, na te le la fuai ya te oe, awa, awa e te fefe, awa foi e te mata'u. That is the promise of God from day one to now. God is saying, he will never leave you, he will never forsake you. So why are you going through a lot of circumstances and be defeated? I say, alo e ola, um... Faya uh, inga. Ai. You know. But, Oleate, but my losi tato e kalesia. Promisi maelea tua, follow follow maelea tua ya tato. Ilana upu. Na te le tu la for ina tato. Femai, emu mua ya ya te oi. You know, he goes before you. And he will be with you. Now, um, picture this. <coughs> God is, you know, he's a spirit, right? And Jesus is living in you. <laughs> Whatever um, you ask of God, if you want a house, okay, let's say you want it to, a home, and you pray, you seek, and you saw, and you thought, that is for you. And if you know that's for you, it's confirmed in the heart of God, that's for you. So he shows the house, and you go pursue the house, right? Now, when you got there, the house is so expensive in your mind, it's beyond your means, right? But Jesus said, or God said, I will go before you, you know? And if you trust and you want and you believe and you have faith, that's your house, then you walk by faith and you claim by faith. That's how, and see, I savali la, la savali yalu e tala noa e maua lo fale. Ah, I te i au e maua se message my ya TikTok for ingale for my, you know, there was a play da 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 here and you know, e te i au kifa ai lo lo va ai a, you know, what I'm saying is you're on your way to get this house that you you had peace in your heart that God is going to give you. But then as you go through the, you know, the motion, you all of a sudden see in your Facebook or your TikTok, there's a flashing beautiful house somewhere, you know, and then you go there. So instead of going to where you know that's yours, you got sidetracked. Ah. And when you got there, it was just a joke. Ah. It's not reality. And you say, me a mo il me le le nga flash ma ya oi. I to a fo in my lo il me le nga mga oi. When you come back to, it's gone already. But see, that's why I want to to remind you, to encourage you, that set your affection and your mind to God. Olona winga, God says, the Lord said, I, you know, go before you. I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. O o yate o te savali mo oi o te o uia lo lima no lima tamtau you know 
O tele tu la fo ina oi. O tele la fo ina fo oi. O te tu o te tu mau ia te oi. That is the promise of God. So remember the promise of God. And any promises that in the word that you you can put in your spirit, remember that and go for it. It's yours. You, you know, if you believe and trust in God, Thirdly, remember the blessings of God. Now that we are the child of God, we have come out from the sinful world that we, were, we lived in. And this is the blessings of God. God says, to give you with great and goodly cities which you did not build, and houses full of all good things which you did not fill, and cisterns you not out which you did not you, and vineyards of olive trees which you did not plant, and when you eat and are full, then take heed, lest you forget the Lord who brought you out the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. This is the blessing God will give you. Now that we are in the house of God, away from the bondage that we were living in, this is the blessings for you and I. God fills our house. He gives. He provides, you know. Only if you trust him, only if you have faith in him, God, remember God's blessings. Now you remember his word, remember his promises, and remember his blessings. There are so many blessings that is due you. We all have different desires, and yes, God can bless you accordingly to what your hearts desire. That's what the Bible says. <coughs> in Proverbs, the word says, but a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. Now, you know what that means? The wealth of the world, it's for you. The doors are open. Go get it. Ah, manatua ole oloa ole ale lalo langi. Nefe maile tua, natu uina multangata amiotonu. Ultangata ole tua. A leo te fama losi tato kalesia. Ole tosanga ne, ole occupy and uh, what? Possess. Occupy and possess. You need to go out there and uh, mai. No for ya. Ma umia. Occupy. Ah, it's for you. And when you go there, you know, if you go and see a beautiful place, 
all of a sudden, the, the, the other spirit comes in your mind. Ah, uh, nah, that's for me. It's too much. Why? Why do you say that? I say, ah, te, te manatu fata vaai na name ya oi. A wai, fe maltu spa ia. E, e pule le atu e mea u malava nela lani. Oh, everything in the world belongs to God. And if we are the children of God, what makes us think we can't have it? Afa pea o ta tourfa na wale tua. I say a ta tu tele tala noai ya ta tu. Fa manatu ya ta tu. Bring to our remembrance that's mine. That's mine. O le mea na na fa yele tua moa. I'm going to go and occupy it. You know, I'm going to take it. This year, take it. You know, and walk with it and live with it. You can have it. It's yours if that's what your heart is desire. That's what I do. But I think that uh, money is, you are not determined, uh, the, the, the value of us is not determined by how many money we have, or how many possessions we have, or how many whatever that we have. That doesn't determine your value. Your value is determined with the God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit that's in you and then fruitful. The fruits that comes out of you determines your value. O fua e e te ngausia mai ile yayo le tua le tama le tua le alo mai le tua nga pa ie te tonu ya te itato o fua e fua mai ya itato o le tawol na itato o fua le lofa o li oli o fua na e fua ilo tawua those are the foods that determines how valued you are is the living God in us, that we bear good fruits. So I challenge our church to be blessed with the fruit of God. Now that we were listening to what God has already given us, my question now, Remember you. Now, what are we going to remember? Remember your testimony to God. Remember le upo tauti nonga na e faye ile tua. Mana tua lau tauti nonga na e faye ile tua. Lau tauti nonga le temi na e fa alai nai. Fa afetai Yesu na e maliu. Jesus, I believe you died on Calvary. My testimony to God when I got saved, when you got saved, I wanted to remind you what was your testimony. I said, Lord, I believe, Jesus, that you died on Calvary to redeem me. Jesus, please forgive me. I am a sinner. And please forgive me of all my sins, my iniquities, and my transgression. And I now receive you in my heart. Lead me, guide me, direct me. That was my testimony to God. Do I remember that? In the beginning, after I did my testimony, I went without remembering that until I acknowledged the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit brought into my remembrance your testimony, your word of testimony. You know, every Sunday we have our services and sometimes the word, you know, Pierce in your heart. 
ai telangona ngalwe ngalwe ina olo wanganga ile tu el upu ona e tu la i mailea e tu inatu lo wanganga ile tu ilau tautinonga tu inatu ile tu what whatever had hindered had um had touched you that day you know you, that was your testimony to god and uh, to bring to your remembrance are you remembering that time lo eman tu aina le semi na lu of ta ya ya eman lo tu e ala le ngal wenga le upu e ala le ngal wenga le nganga pa ia o lo of so so ani mai ya te o ema o lo eman tu aina are you remembering your testimony to god the day that you accepted jesus the day that whatever had bothered you the word touched you and you declare a word of testimony to god like healing like prosperity like um, knowledge like whatever that you ask god of and he bless you i want to bring to your remembrance ne emanatua lautsauti nonga ola ilumole atua remember the word of testimony before god because at the end of you know that's the one that's what god is going to judge us if in a word of testimony secondly we mana to our promise le to have you are you remembering your promises to god every year we have you know set promises not only to ourselves but to god i will serve you i will you know give you all of me i will you know serve you in this part i will serve you in this as a leader i will serve you per church i wonder if i ngalo la moli mau i wonder if i ngalo ina la tautinonga i wonder if i ngalo ina la promise ile tu ne if you love the tight your let's see why ngal part if i want to tattoo tattoo to leo mai a woman tattoo to ina to le tu o te au o na mo tau tu a i le vai nga le remind you remember your testimony remember your pro promise and god says i will never leave you i will never forsake you and with that thought walk with god in that promise as he promised you he will never leave you nor forsake you you promise god that you will walk with him regardless of what woman a uh promise ile to wala e savali mai al neto sanga la e tau tu e la nafi au mala nga luega wala e faya uma me fina nga lo ye ile tu ele o be don't serve your part because you like your leader no serve in the areas that you're serving in because it's what you promised god that's what you're going to do this year ye e tau tu i ai ona wa e lo o le mel na na tu ina mai le tu e te au au nam tau tu i ai o le mea fo na na e na e pro missi ai i le tu e te te tau te tau tu i ai so church i i challenge you today the bible say for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved awa o le loto itali ton wai e o mai ai le ami ton o le ngutu e ta uti no ai e o mai ai le ola if you know in your heart the truth of god ah e o mai ai le la fo ile e te tali ton u ilo loto e o mai ai le ami ton and if you speak with your mouth say to low e o mai ai le ola o lo na winga ta uti no me e te ola tautino le le upumonia le atua you declare the truth of the word of god and the bible says it will bring life declare as you walk it not only will bring you life but it will strengthen you in your services to god not only that but the people that you are working with will feel the strengthen 
from God through you. What's an answer? Yella tato, Nalu Fatasi, at Tusa Matato, Tautala la Miotono le tua, Fama Lossi, la Miotono, Ilo Lotto, a Fapenana, the Manuia, Manuia tato ecarisia, Manuia me umatato fire, Manuia le vision nato sanga, a for etato occupy ma for ima. My process. And when we are Uma, Lamatanga, everything, and with God, He's always destined to, to win. With God, we are destined to win. With God, we are destined to be blessed. With God, uh, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit will always be in you. And that's where, when you travel this year, as you journey through this year, I challenge you to remember God's word, remember his promises, dig into the promises that you want from God, remember that, and remember his blessings. The 10 that God um, was blessed, only one came back to return the, the glory to God. But when you are blessed, you come here every Sunday and give God the glory. And you need to understand there are spirits that brings remembrance to us. Okay? Ye emana tua, olo ya yanga fa manatu mai yate yate oi. There are spirits that bring remembrance to us. The first spirit is the spirit of the devil. The spirit of the devil will remind you all the bad things. Everything that has to do with bad that you journey through life, that spirit will remind you. And you know that spirit will hold you down from your blessing. Stronghold of the mind. You don't need that. But see, the Bible says the Holy Spirit, our text said uh, we, we had, uh, John 14, verse 26, it says, But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things, will remind you of everything I have said to you. That's the spirit of God. And that's the spirit I want our church to take, get a hold of. Because the Holy Spirit, that's the comforter the Father brought to us in the name of Jesus. And he is to teach us all things. He is not only to teach us, but he, he will bring things to all our remembrance. He brings to our member, he bring, he t the Holy Spirit teaches us all things, not just part things, all things. He brings us through our, our remembrance and whatsoever Jesus has said to us, the Holy Spirit will bring to our memory or to us. And I challenge you, to, um, church, ye e manatua, le upua le atua, ye e manatua, promisia le atua, ye e manatua fa manianga le atua, ye ate oi, ma ye e manatua foi. Lau upo lau tautinonga ilea tua. Ma ia e mana tua. 
our promise na e fai ile tua remember god's word remember his promises remember his blessings and remember your word of testimony to god remember your blessings or remember lauta uti no ngai no mole tua mamantua promise na e fai ile tua ona fa manuia le le tua e lausa valinga ile neita usanga tauna i anga le le yatu le tua ya tato e kalesia may god bless our church richly may the word impart impact and restore refresh your heart as you start traveling in this year and may the vision of of god uh, resonate in your heart to occupy and possess it is so for Jesus Christ so for man we are let to all that we call is here for man we are let to a love for longer from we are let to a love so for linger in later summer it is so for all yes who I've been it thank you father for your word I pray that in part impact restore and enable each and every one of us with your mighty word through the ministry of Holy Spirit in the swa for yesu amen to ina to bless you hallelujah hallelujah before we could partake in the body and blood of Jesus i like to say a few things that's very important that before we could partake you know we don't partake in his body and his blood in an unworthy manner i like to write read few verses If you have your bibles please turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 22 23 Sorry 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 For I received from the Lord that which I also deliver to you that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me in the same manner He also took the cup after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me we've heard the word of god today so just hold on with me for a few minutes because we are not at over with the remembrance that the holy spirit spoke to us this morning right so we heard that remember god's word remember god's promises remember god's blessings and this is from the very words the very these words came from the very mouth of jesus christ before he was betrayed There's one word again that I would like to draw your attention this morning is Jesus said do this in remembrance of me. What do we have to remember? You see we got to remember that Jesus took our sin our death and our curse on the cross. 
While we were at sinners, Christ died for us. We got to remember that. We got to remember that he paid a price in the place where we have to pay that price. We got to remember that God came. We were under the clutches of sin and death. Bible says the, word, the wages of sin is death. So of course when we were under sin, we were under the grip, under the hold of death. When we were under the hold of death, there was curse on us. You see, God sent his only begotten son so that he could take away that sin that was stained on us. We got to remember that. We got to remember that when we come to partake we got to remember, therefore, we are no longer cursed. You see, there are two things that, that are very important. There are many things that you could, you could draw from the cross of Calvary. But the two important things that stand out the most, the first one at the cross of Calvary, you can see the love of God is shown to us the love of God he loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son number two all the blessings for us the heavenly as well as the earthly blessings come from the cross of Calvary you see, when, when he bore our sins and when he took our curse, he released the blessings to us. So therefore, all the blessings that we need that comes from the cross of Calvary. Now the Bible says, he did not give it drop by drop. He opened the streams like a fountain a fountain of blessings that he opened. We got to remember that. We got to remember that. You see, unfortunately, people were always being told, you know, maybe through, through message, through various ways, They've been only reminded that they are sinners. No. You see, when, when once we were in darkness, there was no light in us. If you got to get into a room that is full of darkness, you can't see things. Right? It's utter chaos. There's utter confusion. However, when you put it on, when the lights come on, you can see everything. There's a big difference that I like to draw your attention between how when we used to be in the darkness, which means we were under the clutches of sin, we were under the clutches of death, we were under the clutches of the curse and the evil. But when we accepted God, it is not by our works it's not by our strength but it is by his grace you know when we decided when we confessed from our mouth that he is Lord and Savior and when we invited him when we took him as our personal Savior this curse this sin this death has been dismissed has been cancelled from our lives we are no longer under the clutches of that sin or evil or curse. The streams of blessings come from the cross of Calvary. Comes from the body and the blood of Jesus. That is why this, he says, do often as you remember me. 
we not ought to do this as a tradition no 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 we we don't do this as a tradition there could be many many of them that could do as a tradition but we do not do this as a tradition there is a meaning there is a deeper meaning though they are just the elements here but it has to do with what had happened inside of us same way as when we took the baptism you see the the baptism is the outward confession but before we we were baptized into Christ there were many things that happened before within us inside of us similarly the sin has been cancelled and this is the outward of what we say that when we partake in his blood when we partake in his body we very much partake in the blessings of god can i say can i hear amen we partake in the blessings of god now so many people can ask then why christians are not blessed that's a very good question and i had that question too many years ago and that's when i realized the truth that we got to partake in a way that we got to partake you see yes darkness and light cannot go with each other similarly sin or death or curse and the blessings of god cannot go with each other one has to be off for other one has to be on i hope you you, you get my point so we the things that we left and came we ought not to go back and touch that again very very important that's why it reminds here you know in verse 28 but a, but let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup for he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself not discerning the lord's body we got to discern the lord's body then you might ask are we all 100% righteous holy no but that is why god has given us his grace he has given us his strength the ability that grace is not we we take as a license to go and sin and come back and ask for more grace no 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 that's the way it doesn't work when we got to receive the greater blessings of god we got to cleanse ourselves we come not by our own strength but by the strength of god the strength of god that he gives not by our works but what he has done for us not by our merits but through the cross of calvary when we partake in this manner then what we do then we activate the blessings of god that comes from calvary believe me if i'm standing and talking about this to you today i have experienced this in my life i have experienced this in my life i have seen the difference of how we touch we not ought to be touch in a unworthy manner this is not a joke 
this is something very, very important. The other thing that what people, you know, when, when these kind of message, this kind of doctrine is spoken, the truth is spoken, that the other part of it, people withdraw and then go away. No. This is not something that we should go away. We should come, come to Christ. This is the time to come to Christ. If we consciously or unconsciously have done any sin, if some of you are involved in, in any secret sin, this is the time to ask, to examine, to ask forgiveness. And ask his grace and strength. That is why we have the grace. So that when the temptation comes, we don't yield to it. I would be a liar if I stand here and say, oh, we ought not to go through any temptations. No, we would. But that's why we have the grace of God. That grace of God, it has to be used for the right purpose it has to be used. It is not to be used to go and sin, come back and ask for grace, but it is not to yield into the temptation and sin. And this is what the body and blood does to us. Then it activates that blessing. That curse is cancelled. Then we receive the peace of God. The joy of God. The happiness. Every other blessing comes from the Calvary. Belongs to us. Hallelujah. 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 It's up to you. But this is the word of God. All right? It is like a two-edged sword. I'm not a person who tries to devise word here and there. What the Spirit speaks, I speak. This we got to remember today. As we're going to sing the song, I would please ask you to please stand up and then examine yourself. And if you want it, you know, I'll give you a couple of minutes if you wanted to ask of any forgiveness and cleanse yourself. This is your time. And then that they will serve the communion, then together we will partake. I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. I hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin I left a crimson stain. He washed me white as snow. Lord, now indeed I find thy power. And thine alone can change the leper's pot and melt the heart of stone. Jesus paid it all, all to him my own. 
the crimson stain he washed me white as snow and when before the throne I stand in him complete Jesus died my soul to save my lips shall still repeat and when before the throne I stand in him complete Jesus died my soul to save my lips shall still repeat oh Jesus paid it all Jesus paid everyone all to him my own sin and left a crimson stain he washed me white as snow Jesus paid it all Jesus paid it all all Crimson stain, he washed me white as snow. He washed me white as snow. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you. That the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me now you can partake of the body In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Now you may partake of the blood. Let's just lift up our hands and give thanks to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, how we love you, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the cross of Calvary. Thank you that you have taken our place. That we can be freed from all the clutches of sin and death and slavery and the curse. Freedom is ours. Blessing is ours. Healing is ours. Oh, peace is ours. Joy and happiness is ours. Every poverty Every sin and death and darkness, every curse relieved and dismissed from us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we remember that we are not sinners, but we have been redeemed by your blood. We remember of the great blessings that God has in store for us. We activate the plan and purposes of God in our lives. We activate every blessings that come from the cross of Calvary. 
Let every member who is standing here at, the, at this time receive that confidence, receive that assurance that they are not under this bond of sin or death or curse anymore. But they have been redeemed by your blood, O oh Father God. That they are partakers in the blessings of Abraham. That every blessing that you have given and every promises that you have given belongs to us, O oh God. We take that in faith and we speak it in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the truth dwell in the minds and hearts of your people. When they go out, Father God, let them go out as a victorious people of God, as the sons and daughters of the Most Holy High, the King of Kings the creator of the heaven and earth. Let them experience your blessings in every walk of their lives. Let peace and happiness belong to them. I speak peace. I speak every confusion. Be gone. Let happiness prevail. In the family, in the church, in the hearts of God's people. And in every work that we do, let peace and happiness prevail. Let the presence of God go before us and make us the way of God. Let your people experience this blessing and healing. Bless the congregation. Let's all... The elderly, the young, the youth, the smaller ones. Bless each and every one of them, O oh Father God. Continue to lead us and guide us. We give you all glory, honor, power, and praises. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.